Hey everybody, it's Brian. I wanted to drop a quick video now. I've had a lot, I mean a lot of messages from people going, Hey bro, you okay in there? Yeah, I see you haven't recorded anything in a while. Record something! But anyways, <laughs> they just kind of jump out at me like that sometimes. Um, when I don't record for a while, it's either because I'm really busy with work or family or I'm doing other things like video gaming. But usually it's because it's all of the above, right? And lately I have been going through and re-recording all my cute five content into cute six. I've got beginners and intermediate done, and I'm currently working on the cute six core advanced with C++. But of course, being an advanced course, I'm making a lot of mistakes. It's slow going. There's bloopers. I may actually publish a video of my bloopers. Okay, everybody, so far in this course, we have gone over concurrency, threading, and futures, and now we're going to talk about getting multiple future values, meaning multiple values in the future. To do this feat, we're going to... Why do I keep saying feet? This is like take 73, and all I say is feet, 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 like tons of feet. Oh. Anyways, when it's done, I'm probably going to take another short break and get right back into it upgrading the design patterns along with the QML and widgets courses. I do apologize though, I'll try to be a little more spontaneous with the content. It's just really slow going and I'm hyper-focused on my courses.